Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the Wangzilla channel. This is Will once again. And uh, yeah, it's been a few days since I've posted anything. I've had a few, um, I guess, minor issues. Uh, nothing crazy. I have picked up the Quick Jack. I believe it's the 7000 TLX. Uh, been pumped up to get this. It finally started receiving parts of it a few days ago. Uh, I picked it up with the uh, standard uh, 120, 110 or whatever uh, power control unit right here. Receive that box fine. And really when you buy one of the quick jack setups, you'll get three boxes. It's gonna be a frame, another frame and a second box. And then the power control unit that you select be a 240, uh, 110. I think they even do a DC version. And I also added a truck uh, slash SUV, uh, I guess extensions. This makes it so you can lift uh, larger vehicles a little bit higher up, a little bit easier. And I also grabbed these fancy wall hangers so I can kind of just lean it up on and hang it up on my wall. So I received that good, that good. My extra stuff, I actually also have a pinch weld and some low profile um, pieces coming in. And as you can see here, I have one frame. And somehow, our friends with FedEx delivered me this, <laughs> a canine ballistics dog bed as my other quick jack frame. So they've marked this as being delivered and as a frame, this is, you know, according to my tracking, this is supposed to be a 120 something pound box, and like three or four foot long, but, at some point during the process here, FedEx has dropped my label from my frame box, somehow made its way onto this wonderful dog bed here. I don't have dogs. And they slapped my label on here, then did a relabel on this. And uh, then decided that this dog bed is my frame so now I am in limbo uh, with FedEx I open up a, 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 a case with that we'll see what happens with that. it's been a few days I haven't heard anything from FedEx I emailed quick jack haven't heard anything from them either trying to locate my other frame uh, but yeah if you want I can you know plug the hydraulics up to this dog bed on one side and see if I can slide this you know under my car hey look at that I can lift up my car with this Canine, I mean, it is ballistic. So, I mean, you, you should be able to lift up your car with a ballistic bed. So, yeah, I was planning on doing a ton of install stuff, finish up with the chassis brace, uh, the cradle lockout. I wanted to have the quick jack for that so I could get the load off the tires and not have to use my ramps. And I figured it would just make it so much easier to use the quick jack for that. Uh, plus, I want to do a bunch of stuff with the uh, explore, Exploder. Uh, transmission fluid um, I guess you could say not flush but I, I was gonna drain and fill new transmission fluid uh, transmission um, filter I have to do an oil change on my wife's Echo Boost Mustang I was gonna do an oil change differential change on the uh, Beast Zilla NV 3500 and so yeah so that's where I'm at with that I'm just kind of waiting for that other quick jack before I go ahead and do those installs I also picked up um, actually I received a few weeks ago. We'll go ahead and head inside and take a look at this. So my, my uh, relatively messy office, but uh, I also will be doing the ZL1 1LE front end conversion. So I have all the parts here. I have the lip. I have uh, you know the different little intake scoops here. Uh, the yeah, all the different pieces for that. Um, yeah, I got the upper and lower grill. and But this will take a little while. I'm not going to do this immediately because I will be taking the lip and uh, to a paint shop and getting this painted, the mosaic gloss to match the rest of my rocker panels or rear diffuser and the OEM ZL1 lip. But I'll be leaving the grill and the, the little scoop intake pieces and stuff satin. 
but I wanted the lip to flow with the rest of the car. So I was gonna get this painted. I'm gonna have to let it sit out for something like 30 days after I do get it painted. And so I can put paint protective film on it because I do want this thing to last, uh, which is one of the issues I will go ahead and show you with my current ZL1 lip. Uh, how I kind of dinged it a little bit uh, with a minor, um, I guess you could say ramp um, incident I had a few months ago. Nothing serious. Also, uh, I got some more stuff here planned. Um, yeah, I do have more parts here and uh, kind of scattered all over the place, but I have also will be doing the uh, rear reflectors. Um, I'll be replacing the vinyl overlays with actual smoke reflectors. And uh, yeah, so I have a lot of stuff planned with the ZL1. And uh, oh, there yeah, we go. And yeah, here are the, the reflectors I'll be putting in to replace the overlays. I did melt that one overlay just slightly, and I didn't want to stick with that. So uh, yeah, that's what I'll be doing. I'll either be doing these or I'll be doing some LED ones. Uh, probably these, but who knows? I got my. New bolts here for the uh, rear cradle lockout. You don't have to replace these, but I think it is in the uh, manufacturer documentation that they are uh, single use. So I will be replacing those when I do the rear cradle lockout. And I've been pretty busy with uh, some other stuff. I wasn't gonna film it, but uh, I tweaked my back a little bit, so I did not do it. But I did recently place my dishwasher with this nice fancy LG one here. Thing is sweet. You know, it's got steam, quad, super mega wash, and all sorts of cool stuff. Uh, of course, the kids have already gotten it dirty. But uh, yeah, even though this is a new home, the they pretty much got the cheapest, crappiest dishwash uh, item here. So I'll probably do a review maybe on the dishwasher, but because I also picked up a new LG uh, washing machine and dryer. Nobody really cares about this stuff, but man, these things really make I got five kids, four of them are girls, plus my wife, and they, the washer dryer runs pretty much 24-7, so, it's a, so, yeah, so, I have that, I installed all these to save a couple bucks myself, and since I had a pulled muscle in my back from the gym, I just was not feeling about, you know, recording any kind of install stuff, so, yeah, so, hopefully, the quick jack issue is resolved, and I can actually get going with this because I wanted to do a video setting this up, getting the cars up in the air, and then just seeing how much easier it'll be to work on my car. The ramps are pretty cool. They work good. But of course, if I want to do something with the load off the wheels, if I want to do all four wheels, you know, you know, rotate tires on one of my other cars, something like that, this should be good. And I'm hoping the size, I want the 7000 TLX because it is a longer uh, extended uh, version so I hopefully I'll have a nice long width between my uh, my various my pinch weld blocks that I have on here so that's where I'm at with that and um, if you've seen some other videos I have this sweet um, dip your car uh, advanced uh, dip sprayer setup that I will be figuring out how to use because I do plan on uh, spraying my exploder and getting that painted some color something cheap just kind of a practice run with the exploder and so i'll be using this and i also might be using this i think i can use this to stain my fence so it'll be another project uh this thing does seem pretty sweet uh huge amount of hose i mean this thing is supposed to be the top one that they have so we'll see how this works out here's my old dishwasher washer and dryer that are now taking up a large chunk of my garage so i can give these away or sell them relatively cheaply um, and of course my garage makeover needs to happen soon because I can barely get to my tools and then uh, another thing uh, I was going to be working on is figuring out how to weld I bought this off of Harbor Freight and I recently wired up this uh, new 240 outlet that will utilize my I can plug my welder into because it when I had the house built they put a dryer plug in here like a four prong dryer plug and of course my welder needed a three prong and so i did of course went ahead and swapped the outlets a video you know somewhere up here regarding that but uh so I'll hopefully be figuring out how to weld here with this welder i haven't welded before 
But you know, with anything YouTube provides and there's tons of info on there. So I don't think I'll have too much difficulty figuring out. I don't need to be a master welder. Just, I want to be able to put down some nice beads and maybe fix like my exhaust on the exploder, which is leaking a little bit and just other projects around the house. So yeah, that's a quick status update with uh, where things are at now. So I've been a little bit slow on putting out the videos lately and I'll try to ramp that up, especially when I get the damn uh, quick jack a frame, if I ever do, or maybe I'll have a video of me using this ballistic bed that I received from some lady in Virginia who's supposed to have gotten it. And then I'll go ahead and jack the car up with that and see if, you know, how ballistic it really is. Uh, but yeah, oh, I wanted to show my tweak that I, my little minor incident, you know, it's not really that bad. Kind of see it right there. The car partially rolled off of the ramps a few months ago when I tried to jack the rear end up with the front end on ramps. I did have little small blocks behind them, but the car rolled back off of the, um, the ramp because I had the ramp with the actual, this portion right here, the front wheels were on. You know, this actual portion, I had the ramps themselves removed in the back. And when I jacked up the rear, it somehow rolled over the little chalks or whatever I had and came off the ramp and landed on my lip and kind of kind of uh, tweaked here in both sides. And I think that's just the paint protective film that got kind of shredded off, popped the lip off a little bit. I was able to snap everything back into place. I think the lip is mostly fine. But at that point, I was like, well, I kind of was on the fence of replacing the lip with the 1LE version anyways. So that's probably what I will be doing. And I have all the parts already here for, um, really it's about how long it will take me to get to the paint, uh, paint place and get the, the new lip painted so it can go. I'm gonna get it painted just like this, you know, so it matches the rest of the car. You know, don't mind it being relatively dirty, because, but I wanted that same gloss finish for the lip but then i'll leave the uh grill satin and then these little pieces right here on the one le with the scoops and the canards or whatever those will be i'll leave those satin kind of flow together i was thinking about doing maybe a carbon fiber uh you know wrap or something like that but uh i figured the gloss with the satin center will look fine and uh you know give it a nice aggressive mean look and uh, yeah, so hopefully I have good luck on this. I don't have to wait a month or, you know, hopefully they say, hey, we delivered something. You know, that's a tracking number. You're out of luck. So um, yeah, so thanks for stopping by. I'm gonna put out a couple more videos, I think today or tomorrow, just some basic non, probably non-car related stuff or, or some maybe some test stuff, you know, electrical stuff. And uh, I still have a ton more stuff to do. So uh, yeah, as always, subscribe, like, share, comment. Uh, let me know what else you'd like to see and i'll try to get some of these projects knocked out but uh yeah for now have a good one peace